question 2c part 1 the force F applied to an object is directly proportional to the extension E produced by that object represent this information as an equation in terms of F E and an appropriate constant K hmm. Let's see. You are talking about directly proportional. When two quantities are directly proportional, <coughs> when one increase, the other increase with it. When one decrease, the other decrease. So they rise together, they fall together. All right? Inversely proportional, when one rise, the other falls when one falls the other rises but this is directly proportional so for example <coughs> you have an object it was 2 or a quantity was 2 and it became 10 that's quantity A quantity B when quantity B was 3 and when A rose 5 times to 10, B rose 5 times to 3, 5, 15. Alright? If A here doubles from 10 to 20, B also doubles from 15 to 30. So let's see. Let's play around with this for a bit. Now, it's just a matter of going through the principle here. If you have A divided by B, 10 over 2 is 5, 15 over 3 is 5, 20 over 10 is 2, 30 over 15 is 2, 20 over 2 is 10, 30 over 3 is 10. So A over B here is a constant, right? A over B is constant so that that means if you have 10 over if you have in this case 3 over 2 is the same as 15 over 10 so we have all right let's say a over b a over b since we have it here is the same as 2 over 3 same as 10 over 15 same as 20 over 30 let's see if it works out 5 into 10 2 5 into 15 3 so this is the same 2 over 3 10 into 22 10 into 33 so they all works out to they work they all work out to 2 over 3 so a over b is a constant is equal to a constant C all right now let's look up at this the F is one quantity E is the other quantity F E an appropriate constant K so F and E are constant or I mean F and E are direct proportional it works just like the A and B here I could have used F and E here if I wanted. So F over E would be 2 over 3, same as 10 over 15, same as 20 over 30. But you get the point, right? So we're applying our F over E here now. F over E is equal to a constant and K constant k so you could also say the force is equal to k multiplied by e if we then multiply both sides by e multiply by e e cancel itself multiply by e so you have f is equal to k e all right so represent this information as an equation 
in terms of Fe and a appropriate constant k. So you have an equation here that you can use. All right. So later then.